I didn't know that that there was two cups. Oh. I didn't know there was an Obama and there was a McCain because I just grabbed it because it's the same size that I always get. I didn't know what the deal was, and I came back and I started drinking. It said McCain on it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like I don't, and like I don't want this cup to be here while I'm drinking it, and people come in and see the McCain cup and be like, "What?" Uh, and I almost, I almost like, I'm like, I think I'm gonna just go buy another one. Uh, the first time Jose got one of these Seven Eleven Vogue cups, he bought a McCain cup, which I didn't buy it. Well, you came got a McCain. It came with your coffee. But wait, was it the cute chick working that day when you bought it? No. Or is it somebody else? Some, someone is, there's somebody else in the there's in somebody. the morning. Well, there's like an older woman I see there. Uh, for uh, there, the shop here, Dreamline Comics, is located right next to a Seven Eleven. And whenever we do these segments, there are one of two attendants that I've seen at the Seven Eleven. One is a, a nice older woman who's there for a lot, and then and our, on days like today, this cute younger chick who she's cute, but that's she's cute. How about well, I'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> because um, I always uh, tease her about the Slurpee machines, and she doesn't know how to how to deal with me. But she's cute. You ever ask her out? No. No? You wouldn't? No. No? Why not? Because she's like 21. I was going to say, yeah, she's kind of young, isn't she? She looks kind of young. Maybe 19. No, That's she's, probably she's, it. Tw- she's actually 21. 21? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, but no, I, I'm i a little bit older now, a little bit wiser, and I just need some form of, some form of intellect to keep me in the relationship. Is it me or was Roxy hitting on you at the TNA fan interaction? That was very nice. I think she was she was actually hitting on you. Uh, she was super nice. She was really nice. But she she made that comment about touching you. <laughs> Not inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought it was no. So she was She was very sweet no. though, yeah. Actually everyone who we saw at the TNA thing, everyone was really nice. They're really cool, no. No, yeah. It was very cool. The Motor City machine guns were awesome. Um, Alex Shelley. Chris Saban, funny. Chrissy Hemi, mm-hmm. always really, she's very sweet, very sweet. And Lance Rock and Jimmy Rave. Jimmy Rave, Jimmy Rave, Jimmy, very cool. Jimmy Rave was, was, was really, really cool. cool. That, that, um... Consequences Creed was very nice, too. Consequences Creed. Extremely nice. I, I sense a heel turn in his future. You know? I don't think so. Not right now. I, he's too, he's too over right now. Think so? Yeah, dude. Then why didn't he put the belt on if he's so over? Because the only thing that Bashir has going is that he's like the ultimate I hate America. They're going to keep that. They're going to drag that thing out for at least two more pay-per-views. Mm. That's kind of annoying. And plus, Kree just started... They just gave him this gimmick like four months ago. So it's a fairly new gimmick. They're not going to put the belt on him right away. Yeah, but gimmicks these days in wrestling are all... You know, four months is an eternity. You know, in one of those things. Cases. You know, I, I, we haven't talked anything about comics no. at all, so I'm curious. Um, I didn't get a chance to read anything that came out this week, but uh, what's what what happened that was pretty good? Scalped Volume 3 came out. The trades? Mm-hmm. Is it? No, it was back here. I right, put, put it back, it back in the rack. Scalped? Um, yeah, that was really good. Um, that, that series is constantly just awesome. Uh... Final Crisis, Final Crisis, Rogues, uh, Rogues Revenge, Rogues Revenge, number three, the last part came out. Okay. Um, was it good? Yeah, it's all right. No. I noticed yeah. that they're they've been collecting all the countdown, the Final Crisis books into trades. What's the point behind that? Well, they did that with Fifty Two, also. Yeah. Well, at least with Fifty Two, was going somewhere, whereas Countdown, the Final Crisis, is not even a true countdown, the Final Crisis, because. Final Crisis has but disregarded any, everything. But everything gets trade nowadays, no matter how shitty it is. You would think, with the amount of venom that was out there in regards to what happened with Countdown to Final Crisis, that they would have said, you know, let's kind of, like, forget about this. You know? But it's too big. It's too big of a story not to put in the trade. Yeah. I can see them letting it fall out of print in a couple of years. But Okay. But for now, they, need, they want to make their money. Let, let them make their money. I see DC uh, Universe Decisions number two came out. I didn't, didn't bother. Didn't think about it. Um, what else? Uh, 
Final Crisis um, Legion of Three Worlds came out. I like the first issue. I like the first issue. I like the first issue. Second issue is all right. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, George Perez, his artwork makes it a little hard to get through these days. I mean, he's it's really cluttered right now. Well, the f- amount of fucking dialogue in that book, yeah, too. Yeah, it, there's a ton of dialogue. Yeah, God. it's like reading a real book. Yeah. If I wanted to read a real book, I wouldn't come by comic books. <laughs> I'd go to Barnes & Noble or, or Borders and I'd buy a real book. And can you imagine when they collect that thing into a trade? How freaking daunting it's going to be to read That's not even that? like, you know, you can't even like take that into the bathroom and read it. <laughs> That's right. It'd take like three sittings to get yeah. through that book. <laughs> yeah. I remember going, wow, this one's, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind having a book that really get, I mean, we get on decompression. Where you can sit down and you read a book in, you know, like three minutes and you feel like you're getting gypped. And Legion of Three Worlds does go in the opposite direction where it's incredibly dense, incredibly dense. But I will say that with Legion of Three Worlds, it kind of repeated itself, at least in issue one. I haven't read issue two yet. Mm -hmm. You you know, doing all this setup with Superboy Prime and, and all these little gimmicks and, you know, I was like, golly, and... Again, lots of dialogue, lots of art. I, I'm, dare I say it? I mean, maybe they didn't need to put so much in there. Maybe it's, it's a case of be careful what you ask for. You know. Maybe. It's the opposite of decompression, but, I mean, do you have to compress so darn much, too? Yeah. You know what book did come out this week, though? And we're sold out of it. And I never thought I would utter these words. Ever. But... Ghost Rider is an awesome book. Okay, are you saying Ghost Rider... Well, this is, is a, the new series, right? The new, well, it's the only series. They, no, I'm saying they just... Didn't they just reboot it? Yeah, like a couple years ago. So it's been, this has been running for a while? Yeah, issue 28 came out this 28, week. 28? The Danny Ketch versus Johnny Blaze mm-hmm. or something like that? That book is awesome. So what happens? Um, oh, I don't... Well, first of all, the reason why I think it's... The reason why I ended up buying it okay. issue 24 my friend told me my friend Avi was like like last month he's like hey man you've been reading Ghost Rider I'm like what no I'm like why he's like he's like that book is really good I'm like who's doing it he's like Jason Aaron Jason Aaron's the writer of Scalped oh. and I'm like and he's like and the artist the artist who's doing it um is the artist it's like Tan Eng Huan Mm-hmm. And I'm probably butchering his name, but he was he was the guy uh, who did the reboot of Doom Patrol like four years ago. Do you remember oh, that reboot? Oh yeah, he's yeah, doing the yeah, art on yeah, it, yeah. and I'm like, oh. and I and I've always liked that guy, and I was yeah. like, I've always wondered where he's been. He's like, yeah, the art's really good, and Jason Aaron. I'm like, all right, so I bought it, uh-huh. I bought 24 through 27 um, uh, last month, and I read them all. And I was like, oh my god, and then okay. 28 came out this week. Um, but you know what it was, you know what killed me about that book is that, uh, I ended up buying it. It was a three nine. It's in one of those three ninety nine things where it's all extra pages, but all reprint like, stuff. Just, not reprint stuff. It's no. just text and, and like captions, like t- catching you up on the Ghost Rider oh, lore. Okay. Oh, okay. But it was one of those things that it was like 22 pages of standard art, but I'm like, and I almost didn't buy it because it was three ninety nine, and I was like, oh, are you not... It's such an awesome book. Right. Okay. I, I, and I had two people come in today and ask me for recommendations. They both read Scalp. And I'm like, you've been reading Ghost Rider? And they both were like, Ghost Rider. <laughs> I shit you not. I, and one of the guys is like, Ghost Rider, like, they're still doing that book? Right. I'm like, I'm like, no. I'm like, you should read this. And I got them to buy two runs. Two separate people. I got to buy um, 24 through 28 today. Oh, so cool. So I sold two runs of Ghost Rider. Two mini runs. Um... And I, I hope they really like it. But I think Ghost Rider is it just kind of, uh, And for all you people out there who, who like to think that I hate Marvel, I do still hate Marvel. <laughs> but like I said, they always do the Marvel books that I like. The farther away from continuity, continuity. and the main universe, the better the books are. And Ghost Rider is, is... I mean, you have a character called a nunchuck nun. A nun <laughs> who knows Kung Fu. Like, how, how can you go wrong with that Like in a comic book?